Hi, I'm Ron Myers with Advanced Micro Devices. I'm a product marketing manager with AMD. And I'm going to show you some demos we have uh, with our new 45 nanometer processor. Uh, the first demo I'm going to show you is something that we like to call power at the wall. Now, the exciting thing about this demo is we have a comparison of systems. And here we have an AMD Barcelona high efficiency system, which is our low power processor. The second system is a Shanghai standard power system which we're introducing. Uh, the code name is Shanghai, but it's known as the 45 nanometer uh, quad core processor. And we have our competitors, uh, low power Xeon processor. So what you see is a power at the wall demo. You see the three systems and we have the systems running at three different power levels. The first power level is full capacity, 100%. The second is more of a typical server load at about 30%. And then the final one is at idle and you'll see three numbers displayed. These are the numbers that are demonstrating the power at the wall. And you can see with the high efficiency uh, 65 nanometer quad core, uh, we've got 242 at 100%, 196 watts at 30%, and 146 watts at idle. Okay. And now let's look at the 45 nanometer quad core AMD Opteron processor. You can see at full load, it runs a little bit higher than the older 65 nanometer at high efficiency, and it runs about similar at 30% load. But at idle, you'll notice we've got 141 watts. So you've got great efficiency, and this is the standard power part. What's exciting about that is this is the general part you're going to see in the market and not the more expensive high efficiency part. You'll see high efficiency parts on 45 nanometer in about a quarter or so. Now let's compare it to our competitor's low power uh, platform. This has the Xeon L5420, which is a 2.5 gigahertz processor, the same as the 45 nanometer quad core processor we looked at a second ago. And it also has the low powered, fully buffered DIMMs. Now, by comparison, at full load, you can see the L5420 is running at 279 watts versus 266 watts on full load for the 45 nanometer quad core. On 30% load, which is again, where your typical server range is gonna run, it's usually between 20 and 50, so about 30% is what you're going to get in the normal course of business. You can see the L5420 is at 228 watts. The 45 nanometer quad core AMD Opteron is at 195 watts. Substantial difference in your typical server load. So if you're in your data center or you have your business, this is real impact to your bottom line. This is saving you energy. So we talk about energy efficiency. And at idle, let's say it's at night and you're not really running that many processes, you of course are going to keep your service powered on. The L5420 is running at 180 watts, whereas the 45 nanometer quad core AMD Opteron is running at 141 watts. The net net of this is that the new 45 nanometer quad core AMD Opteron is extremely efficient even at the standard power band. So when you compare it to the competitors, low power uh, offering, and even our previous 65 nanometer quad core part in high efficiency, we've got a great product here. So businesses, data centers, schools, whoever's using servers are going to benefit from that great standard power story that you see right there. The other piece of the story that's really critical here is that when you're talking about our standard part versus the low power part, there's a substantial performance and price difference. So if you look at the performance numbers at full load, you can see we're at 305,000 on the 45 nanometer quad core versus, versus 267,000 on the Intel L5420. So that's a substantial difference. So it's not just a measurement of power, it's a measure of power performance per watt. So the net result is you've got a great optimized platform with the 45 nanometer quad core AMD Opteron processor. So when you see these platforms, knowing in the standard power range, you've got an energy efficient platform right out of the box.